Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. I just want to spend some time looking at um, the calendar because we have some fun things coming up this week and next week too. So um, it's May and today is Tuesday the 19th. So yesterday was the beginning of our online book fair. You guys love going to the book fair and we go through and we see what we like and we have library helpers that um, make a little wish list for your parents and then it goes home in the cult folder and then your parents are so awesome you usually get like a chunk of that stuff. So that's not going to happen but you can go online. So for all of this week and all of next week our online book fair is going to be happening. So um, ask your parents about that. As we travel through the week, when we get to Friday, we're going to be celebrating Madison's birthday. So May, Friday the 22nd is Madison's birthday. So I bet you're excited about that, Madison. Nothing beats a birthday. Then we travel on down to Monday and there's no school. So um, we'll all be away from our computers and our work sites and all of that for um, Memorial Day. Then May, Tuesday, the 26th, this is our next packet pickup day. And it's going to be a drive through just like it has been in the past. So I look forward to seeing you guys. Um, I hope you hop in the car with your parents and um, come honk and say hello and wave. And it's always um, so great to see you guys last Pick up, pick up. I was homesick, so I missed seeing all you guys there. Um, on May, Wednesday, the 27th, check this out. Michael and King have the same birthday. So we'll be saying, hey, happy birthday to Michael and King on May, Wednesday, the 27th. So keep those things in mind for this week and then upcoming next week. So what I have to talk to you guys about now is um, your math, your lesson um, 15 math. It seems that some of your parents really want to teach um, adding ones and tens like they learned it in school. But um, that's okay because I've told you a zillion billion times that there's more than one way to do um, a math problem. But for this time, we're just going to slide the ones and the tens around so that we can do quick counting math. So parents, we're not going to be doing the ones and tens and then carrying over the, into the tens. That, that can all come later. If you want to do that as a backup plan for showing your kids or an additional uh, plan to show your kids how to do this, that's great. But the main focus should just be on adding the ones and adding the tens and you're going to see that you can just slide those right across the board. So here we're, we'll attempt to do that. Um, so for instance, well, hmm, this isn't quite going to work because I was going to like lay them down on the board, but if I lay them down on the board, there's no way for me to um, show you what's going on. So this is, these are the things that happen in distance learning. It's a trial and error, and believe me, I'm still um, trying and I'm still finding error, but we're going to, I'm going to turn around this way. So that you guys can see the board like that. And there's Porker. And try it and see how it works. So for instance, if you guys are just going to add um, 6 plus 2, you know that that's 8, right? So if it comes along and it says, oh, now what's 16 plus 2? Well, you already know that 6 plus 2 is 8, and there's only one 10, so there's 18. We really don't even have to add anything. So if you know that 6 plus 2 is 8, you can also know that 26 plus 2 is super easy to figure out because 6 plus 2 is 8, and you have two 10s. So you're just carrying that 10 over there. You're pushing it over to the other side. So like six plus two is eight. So you have six plus two. Then if you have, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six plus two equals eight. 
Well, then if you're going to add 16, you're just going to put a 1 there, a 10 stick. And now we have 16 plus 2. Down here we have 26 plus 2. So we're just going to add another quick 10 stick. And now we have 26 plus 2. So these problems are all just really about 6 plus 2. So just add your 10. Just put it over there on the side. So we really don't have to like count on. We don't have to go um, like your parents might be showing you like this because I know some parents are. And then they're adding up this way and then they're adding up this way and um, you're getting the same answer and that's, that's great, but this is not the focus. This is the focus. Just putting that over there, adding the tens at the end. So let's um, do another one real quick. I appreciate that parents are helping more than you ever know, but we just have to stay on the same page. So if we do, um, what if we do seven plus one equals what? Seven plus one is eight. So if we have seven plus one is eight, and then we have 17 plus one is eight, we know that seven plus one is eight, and we just have one ten. If we have 27 plus one, we know seven plus one is eight, and then we just bring the two tens over. So we're really not counting on, we're just moving it over, we're sliding it over. There's only one 10 in the whole equation, so we're just gonna bring it over here. There's only two tens, so we're just gonna slide it over. So it's really like not that much counting, it's just sliding it over. So I hope that helps. And um, again, if your parents are showing you how to do that, listen to them because they know how they've been taught. But just know that for today's lesson, it's just sliding it over, sliding those quick tens over. All right, so uh, keep those emails coming with questions. I love trying to help you guys out. And um, I'll see you next time. Later.